Today we're taking a look at some photos that were taken right before disaster decided to poke its big ugly head in. Here we go. Ew, that's just, ew, ew. Can I get two slices of, ew, slices? Can I get two scoops of chocolate without the bird flu? Thanks so much. This is, you know what? This is what you get. Yeah, in your first photo, the ice cream is already dripping. Look at this. Look at this right here. This is already dripping. It's already, time has already passed and you decided to take a photo instead of diving in to this delicious treat. Yeah, that's what happens. This guy comes in and gets the first bite, rightfully so. Good call. That guy was watching you from afar, right? He saw you order, he saw you pull out your debit card. He was like, ooh, chocolate, yeah, it's my favorite. Then he swooped in and got his big feet in there. Ew, seagull feet in a cone? Get out of here. Okay, what do we got? Oh no, oh, hmm, okay, well, well, we don't know what's up yet. One of two things could be happening. Maybe, just maybe, the gentleman on the right here, maybe he's Thor. Maybe he's the next, maybe he was bestowed with the powers of the God of Thunder and he's just recalling that hammer. And buddy on the left here is in disbelief in what's happening, rightfully so. Or he's about to go to the dentist, one of the two. You know what, it looks like a, a good time, all things considered. Got some soda pop, we got some oh, the casserole, I don't even know. It looks hot and ready. And that is a hammer in the air. Uh, oh no, oh, you know what? Mm, that's kind of nice. I kind of like this guy. I kind of, you know what? <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> uh, whoever's on the right is just absolutely mortified and rightfully so. You got a live barn animal attacking you, especially with carpet too, like a goat on carpet. That thing's got grip, that thing's really, it's really ramming into you. I've always wanted a goat until right now. Not because of the, you know, obvious animal attack that's happening here, but because of the wall. Look at the wall to the right of the woman. Like that's, that's probably from the goat's forehead, just rubbing against it hour after hour all day. Imagine a goat rubbing against your walls all day. Cause goats have itchy foreheads, right? They have like uh, you know, they like to fight with their foreheads, like to scratch it up. I don't know, I like goats. I would rather get a goat than a cat. I'll tell you that for free, F that. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. Let's Bill Nye the science guy this right now. So I'm not too good at math here, right? Any mathematicians sound off below, but I'm looking at this angle here. Uh, I think he's good. I think he, okay, so he ran, jumped. So ideally he jumped, right? He had like a running start. Not too hard, you don't wanna overdo it, but ideally he got a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, it's close. What do we think? Do we think that guy made it into the pool? Yes or no, comment down below. I vote. No, I vote no, strictly because, because of the title of this video. It's like top 10 photos taken right before they made it into the pool. I'm like, well, I think he made it. I think he made it. Part of me wants to believe that he made it. So we'll leave it at that. Oh, oh yes, he definitely made it. Oh, he definitely made it with flying colors. Are you kidding? This is clearly an Airbnb, I'll tell you that. Or this guy doesn't respect his house. No, this is an Airbnb. This is an Airbnb because there's shoes on the ground, on the carpet, just in the middle of the goddamn room. There's hot sauce and there's four air mattresses. So, or two air mattresses. Oh, those are two air mattresses. Those are some thick. You know what? He's fine. He's great. Would you do it? I would do it. Can't condone violence on this channel, but you know. If you're gonna do something like this, yeah, put out three mattresses, at least. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. What do we think here, guys? What do we think? I think. No, I don't think they caught it. I don't think I don't think this worked out at all. Here's the thing, you have three on top and two on the bottom. You gotta switch that around. You gotta switch those also, I don't know. There's something about bathing suits and moving couches that just doesn't fit together. You know what I mean? No top, wearing bathing suits, we're moving an entire love seat. And there's gotta be three of us at the top and only two of us to catch it. Bad plan. <laughs> it's funny, this is like photos before disaster strikes. Pretty sure disaster is striking in this photo. I'm pretty sure this is impending doom right now. It's funny because no one has heard it yet. This smack has broken the sound barrier so nobody around them has actually heard it yet. They just see it and they feel it. They feel it in like their skeleton. This guy definitely feels it on the right. He has a dinner plate now just embedded on his stomach. Yeah, you know what I love about this the most? I love that smile. I love the I'm about to win smile. You're not about to win. You're about to pick up, oh my gosh. You're about to pick up like 16, man. As soon as you have to like fan it out with two hands, just quit, just go to your room at that point. My mom and I would play cards a lot growing up and I would have that smile. I would be on my last card and be like, <laughs> playing crazy eight countdowns. I'm like, huh, she's never gonna catch up. I exposed, I exposed too much. Oh, oh, what? Oh, come on. That annoys me. 
and I'm not even an old gentleman yet, you know what I mean? That annoys me, and I'm not even- I have no idea how to play this game at all. That annoys me, and I've never played, um... It's backgammon? I think so, I don't know. Man, I grew up on like Mario Party and stuff. Monopoly, I grew up on Monopoly. I have no idea what this is. That's so annoying. So many pieces to pick up too. <laughs> Spider-Man shirt's like, whoa, didn't nail it. Oh, that sucks. Sister in the back is like, that's it. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? This is like, uh... oh, oh, that was so confusing. That is an entire drink. There is an entire soda just like spread so thin. It looks like they're in outer space. That sucks. That is a perfect photo. That is a second before disaster. They're gonna be so sticky too. It's gonna be ants all over them. It's a Halloween party too. It's gonna be like chocolate, soda pop, so sticky. Ugh, that's uh, yeah, who, whose fault is this? Who, who do we think is to blame here? What could possibly make that drink go so high in the air? It's a, it's a shoulder bump right there. I remember one time someone bumped into me and I spilt my beer onto myself and then they turned around and threw their beer at me and I was like, this is just like, all wrong. I don't know what happened here. Oh, no! Oh, mm, he could have made it. Maybe he could have made it. I don't know. He could have brought that back, right? Yeah, I don't think he, uh, <laughs> I don't think he made it here. But you know what? Kudos. You're going downhill. You're going so fast. Blue's Clues over here is like... <laughs> That's so stupid. This guy right here looks like he's from Blue's Clues. He's putting it together right now. He's like, hmm, we just got a letter. I think it's a medical bill, actually. Yeah, that's pretty high up. And odds are, you're going pretty fast. That's where he started. Beep. That's where he is. Beep. That's where he's gonna end up. Photos taken seconds before disaster. And it's Jim and Pam from the office. Now here's the thing, Central. I was gonna, I had a moment there where I was gonna pretend like I've seen the office, but I haven't. And I haven't, and it's okay. You can give me shit down below. It's just, here's the deal about the office. We'll end on this note. We'll end on a grim, oh, I haven't seen this show, note. I haven't seen The Office because the memes have made me sick of it. I watched the first three seasons over the pandemic and I was like, this is great, this is hilarious. And I just kind of was like, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. It's all kind of the, the same, I don't know. I wanna backtrack all this. I wanna just re-record this entire video and be like, yeah, I've seen it. This is my favorite show on the planet. But I don't wanna lie to you. I respect you, I respect you too much, Central. I respect you too much to not lie to you. I have not seen The Office and I don't get this meme. I understand it, you know? They probably, you know, I think they went their separate ways. Jim Krasinski had to go to the uh, Doctor Strange universe to get spaghettified, and Pam had to go and glow up in Blades of Glory. That's, uh, that's where I'm left off in the series. Those were some great photos. Those are some great photos taken seconds before disaster. If you have any of your own, I don't know, submit them if you can, if that's allowed, I don't know, but we had a bit of a disaster this past weekend. Not Olivia and I, we were at a Halloween party and a friend of ours bumped into the screen door. They were trying to leave and they bumped the screen door on the way out and somehow 16 stitches later. So be safe out there. No disasters coming your way. Hit that thumbs up, get that good karma all around. Let's have a great November. See you next time. Also, I'm Taylor McWaters. Bye.